Before I get this video rolling, I want to tell you guys that I'm getting complaint after complaint after complaint from people saying that YouTube keeps unsubscribing them. I'm putting out stuff once a, at least once a week now, so you can check on it and see if you're still subscribed or not. Or you can subscribe over on some of my other channels. These are free speech channels. And you might have to download the app for them, which is a good idea anyway. They're a great place to check up on things. And uh, they probably won't unsubscribe you. Now, just for the sake of a little explanation here, I've had many people invite me to their houses in recent years, and I've taken to this habit of sometimes stopping in to meet guys along the way, places I've never been, and spend a night or two with them. And so that will explain a little of what's going on in this video. So let's get on with it. Okay, Howie lives somewhere here in Cincinnati, and Jordan and I took off from there heading west somewhere in this direction, although not along the interstates, I don't believe. Seems to me we took some other funky roads we found. And along the way, we stopped to stay a night with Dwight, and then headed into Iowa here. Our ultimate goal, of course, was the west side of South Dakota for the big rally, the big event. But somewhere along the way here, we got off and along on one of these little roads and ended up at a really strange event, as you will well see in this video. I'm gonna make you famous. Make me famous. Yeah, and then you're gonna like, you're gonna get like. <laughs> Two out. likes on my videos? You're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get like solicitations from all these old, uh, single, lonely women. Hey, that's not bad. Can you, handle, you, know, you can handle that. I think okay. I can handle it. He's on for it. So I'm on for just it. Just so you know. Five, 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 five. <laughs> <laughs> And he's also full of shit, so <laughs> keep that in mind if you do contact him. We'll see you in Sturgis. Yeah. We're eating all this. <sighs> Get the bachelor pad here. Yeah. I've been the, you we were just talking in. about bikes. and yeah. There's like four bikes here now because Mr. I Got Everything here has got two of them. <laughs> all right. This sauce is supposed to be the He's last. got like a house and shit. He thinks he's somebody. I'm rolling in it. He's rolling in. He's rolling in something. Rolling in shit. Yeah. I want to film this. Dwight's transmission broke. What year's your bike? Well, that was on the 07 uh, electric light. I, I have had. never seen a brake like this. Yeah, I bought it like that. I had no idea. <laughs> was it already broken when you got it? It was broke when I bought it. I didn't know it was broken. How are you going to know about that? I. Is it, it really squirrely? It, it, it's left hand turn. And that's where. Was, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's For those of you who don't know how the rubber mounting system works in one of these bikes, in the Harleys, the engine is bolted to the transmission. It's got a hinge in the back, and the whole thing moves up and down and bounces on rubber, okay? But the hinge in the back, it's just got like a, it's got like an axle going through it. And it, it'll right all here. move up and down right here. Look at this. Supposed Can to we get it? There it is. This is it. It's supposed to go like that. I've never seen this and the before. Rod goes Broke there. the fuck, yeah, and then the shaft goes through the middle of it. I have never, ever seen yeah. anything like that. Here, wait a minute. I want to see if I can fit it. Yeah, I gotta play with it, man. This here, that there had to go in there. Yeah, see that there piece. That piece went there like that. There's a section that's gone. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. Fucking real. Wow. So if somebody wants it, I'll give it to him. Yeah, he can have it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Wow. 
I just had to record that for as, as a gearhead, it kind of blows my mind. So the other thing we can think is that some they might have dropped it off the back a back of a truck or something. Wow. Once in a while, freak it. stuff just breaks and nobody knows could why. Have velocity in the casting could have been a bad casting. You're never gonna know. You know, there could have been like you know, just, just a bad. But you got cast. another tranny case for a deal? You got a deal on it? Uh, it was brand new from the from uh, OEM from the dealership. It was four hundred bucks. And it had, oh, yeah? it had all the gears and all the. It came with the main drive gear yep, already in it. Yep. Did it come with a pulley on it. Yep. It came with a pulley. Yep. The six speed. That's the six speed tranny there. So the bearing in there came with the bearing inside. No kidding. Yep. Yeah. All right. So that bike's gone. I traded that off. Oh, you just keep this for a souvenir? Well, I'm getting ready to throw it away. I'm glad I kept it around though. So you yeah, can, I uh, want to see that. That's so at least cool. You can check it out. Ain't that something? These are his two bikes here, huh? Yeah. Look at this. He's got himself a Twinkie, a bagger. Gotta love the baggers. But he's also got himself an Evo Road King. We all know I like Evos. Love that bike. Yeah. What is it, what's the difference in the two? Well, Hang on. I know that one can take hitting the deer. Oh, hit a deer. That was the Evo here. Yeah, huh? got deer, deer hair in there. Oh, deer <laughs> hair. Look at that, it does. Yep. Look where you, that's where the tire was rubbing on it. Oh, no. yeah, because you rode it home after you hit the deer? Well, no, I, no, I couldn't shift. My knee That's fucked right, up. fucked yeah. me up. So I ended up laying the bike over on the side slowly. Yeah, and made my calls. Threw my drugs out. What do you... What... <laughs> <laughs> What do you what do you think the difference between the two bikes? I, I've never owned this one in twin cam. Well, uh, you gotta look this way. Uh, like I told you earlier, I think the Road King's a lot smoother. Than it is. This. I think it's a, it's honestly, I think it's a quieter engine as far as valve train noise and all that. It absolutely shifts smoother. Five it's a soft, yeah, the it's, six a, speed. it's a soft, it's nice shifting with it. Where the the twin cam is clunky with its shift. Is and, it really? Yeah. Yeah, when you pop it in the first, you know. Oh, you know, I've heard that uh, that mellows out a lot when you get rid of the automatic primary chain tensioner. Oh. I don't know firsthand. This right. is what guys tell me. I can't swear by this. But, uh, I mean, you know, it's got the six-speed. It's a 103. It's more of an interstate bike, which is what I need right now. This yeah, is a, I like that. This is that two-laner bike right there. So I love baggers. One of these days, let me throw a fairing on that and ride it to Yeah, together. you can get the ones with the super stereos. Have you seen those? Because there's, no, there's no speedometer, so they got super stereos. Yeah, like big four speakers across there and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. I missed a lot of the party last night with the, with the camera, but we are, Dwight, Dwight wants to ride out with us for a ways, so we're going to really hit the road. into the plains, huh? Huh? Not updating. So she's going to need a new phone. Oh, so she's calling you? Oh, yeah. Texting me. I ain't with you. You're 19, man. Got a job. You going to get her a new phone? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fucking sucker. Guess we're going to eat here. What, how can you have a covered bridge festival? Do they like have it on the bridges? No, there's just it's in the areas though when you get out in the country. So what does it have to do with bridges? I, I guess there's a preponderance of them around here, so they call it the covered bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I've yet to go to it, but you know, everybody I know is going to it. Small town thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's what? It's damn near a bicycle frame. Yeah, we're wondering about this bike up here. See if I can get it. Yeah, this phone app's funny when it's zoomed. It's got overhead cam in it, man. Or I mean overhead valves in it. So that's like unusual. Hmm. And we got a 45 inch flathead up here. Yeah. So when did they have overhead valves on a single cylinder? Some of you guys don't know. After hanging out at a truck stop for a while, uh, I took a ride. I hate sleeping in truck stops. They're so noisy and so well lit. But I took a ride and found this. And it's like a farmer, a little road that, if it's a road for tractors. Going to a field. And this, and we ended up with this. Better this is going to be, huh? Better than a truck stop. Yeah. It's gonna be it for the night. Yep. <laughs> well, Jordan, Jordan likes it. I've had better ones, but it works. Grounds, ground, well, the ground's a bit lumpy, but it's not that bad. I like it. This grass is a good cushion. Well, you're happy with the price. It's not forty bucks for a fucking night in KOAs. <laughs> He was paying 40 bucks a night for KOAs. I didn't know they for, cost that much now. For two weeks at least. For two weeks at 40 bucks a night? Yeah. Dude, gee, that's a lot of gas. Yeah. Gas is getting expensive. It's going up again. Well, I was buying that premium too. You told me to stop uh, doing that. Did you, how's your bike working on regular? Fine. Are you pleasing regular in it? Fine, yeah, it's running great. Mine's wanting like a, a fucking a ping. I had a, a guy rebuild these heads. Somebody gave me the heads, but they needed to be built. They weren't in, all in one piece. So I had a friend of mine, one of the mechanics I work with, rebuild them. They ended up on, I had them for three years sitting around because I just was like, well, if he gave them to me, I'll just pay to have them rebuilt. And he, my buddy, he wanted to, like, um, blow the ports and stuff. And I thought about it, and I told him no. Mm -hmm. But I think he might have shaved the heads because my compression ratio is higher than it should be. Which is making me want to ping. So that should run on regular, too. Anyways, we got this spot, and um, I want to watch a movie. You don't have a chair. No junior here. Don't have a chair. Grounds my chair. My ass is my chair. Makes it hard to watch a movie. <laughs> he was up till four last night. Anyway, you guys was bullshit. Got a little too excited last night. Too yeah. excited. Yeah. You're like, what, 29, right? Yes, sir. In my 20s, I could party at night and work in the day still. In my 30s, that changed. I had to do one or the other. Mm. I was able to do both through my 20s. That was a change. You change in your 30s a little bit. Anyways, but not when you're my age. I went to fucking bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, that sounds nice tonight. Yeah, you're going to sleep in your coffin, Dracula? I'm going to call you fucking Dracula. Look at his coffin. Jesus Christ, throw some dirt on that. Slug pack, baby. Yeah, I bet you got fangs and shit. <laughs> yeah. Morning. In the farmer's field. Nice morning too. Beautiful morning. What are you doing? So
No, you're good, man. But basically, I think I ran out of fuel. Okay. But I was headed to the gas station. I only had 57 so miles. You think it's less than Philip? If it's out of gas, why don't you just put some gas? Yeah, in? we got some That's coming. What we're doing. We got some yep. coming. Yep. We're gonna do that. But up. we're also trying to figure out why I ran out so fast why? from the last yeah. tank where it's leaking. Yeah. You need. You got cool. a broken strap on that manifold, huh? Shit. Mm -hmm. <sighs> What's your name? Scotty. Kagan. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I had one of these. My first Harley was one of these in 1984, 1974. Mm -hmm. But I had trouble yeah, with leaks on them hole. things. Look at that. They had an old key in or a, uh, what they call that carburetor? Bindex. No? I think it was a Bindex. So I don't know where it's leaking, man. Yeah. I mean, you can't see it leaking because there's no gas in it. Right. Yeah, there ain't nothing in there. Last, yeah, we got 57 miles on that last time. Did you smell it leaking? No, but every once in a while I see a little bit of fuel on the floor in the garage. Just a little bit, not a puddle. A few drips. It's, it's coming out somewhere. You can't see yeah. it, you know, and I'd, I'd be suspicious of the float. But then it would be leaking out of the overflow. I'd be suspicious of the floats because if it's okay. if it's not shutting it off, then it's just shoving it down into the motor. That's what I'd be suspicious of. And I don't see Man, it's mystery to me, boys. I'm just taking guesses like anybody hey. does, you know. That's what we're about to do at the shop, man. Yeah. Well, there's so some gas. Works. So. Looks like you got enough guys for this. Yeah. Where are you guys headed tonight? I don't know. We're going to get as far as we get. Hey, right. y'all should come by the shop. We're half a mile up the road. Before you leave. Well, we're kind of trying to make some time right now. That's the thing. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are down here on the left. You got free food? No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I don't even have water. No, man. You don't even have water? I have sink water. You guys in tights trying like to entice water. us. You don't look like nobody lives there, huh? Look at that empty place. Ain't that something? Look at that house. I wonder if anybody actually lives there. The front walkway doesn't get used. Well, that's it. We're going to leave you guys. Dude, right. hey, Thanks. have fun at Sturgis. Yeah. Thank you. Truly. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Take Appreciate care of yourself. If I could do something, I would. Oh, you can't leave anybody on the road, and I'm oh, I'm old, so I remember these things. It was an old, it was an old, uh, unwritten law. Everybody stopped to help everybody else. All right, let's get out of here. Cool. Yeah. The event I'm about to get into here was originally started, I'm told, by two guys on bicycles who rode across Iowa. This thing caught on and the event became so big that the towns began to vie for who was going to get to host it because it follows a different route every year, right? And so if they win that whatever and they get, the, they get this event to come into their town, they just open the town up and let the people do whatever they want because this thing brings in so much money. So. Uh, let's get into that now. Yeah. We're heading into the Rag Bride. Now, for those of you who haven't heard about it, I found out about the Rag Bride one year because I came in here and I slept by this little church. It had like an orchard around, a bunch of trees. And it, had, it, was, like, it was almost like a shed. It was so sm I mean, it was a little bitty church with a neon cross out front with neon lighting on it. And... I stayed the night, and in the morning, this guy comes out from behind it on a bicycle. He'd hit himself better, right? And we start talking, and he's heading for this event, and he begins to tell me about it, and I'm like, well, shit, I'm going right through it. Anyways, the Rag Bride's a bicycle thing. They bicycle across Iowa, and they have all these different teams. It's not a race. There's no trophies. Nobody wins nothing. They got no fucking excuse except the will to be weird because it's weird. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm going to... Yeah, I've been to it twice because it's on my way, but... 
Uh, we'll see. We're just we're just outside of the town. I wanted to stop here to eat before we got in there because the restaurants are probably going to be packed, I'm assuming. We'll see when we get there. I don't know what the fuck we're riding into. But they have all these different teams, and they got school buses that follow them that have, like, their team painted on the side and racks on the top with all these bicycles. And they have, like, team... I only remember Team Postal. They're all dressed like postal, postal workers, the guys and the girls. They had the Elvis team where they were dressed like Elvis. They had the drag queen team. That one sticks in my mind. Because the guys and the girls, I don't know if they even had a real drag queen. But they were all dressed in this outlandish shit and tights and stuff. So they just have the will to be weird. And the drinking teams. I remember those. They got some. So we'll see what we see when we get there. We're getting in kind of late. But that's where we're heading right now. Well, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this journey so far. On the next video, we'll get into the Ragbri and onward. Now, I'm really sorry, you guys, that I've had to put these things into a series, you know, part by part by part. But if I put them all in one, it'd be more like a goddamn movie. So, uh, that's just the way I'm having to do it here, because they just be too long. And so, in the Dropbox below, I'm going to leave some other links too, but I'm going to leave you a link to uh, the one, the video before this, and when the and the one after this, when the one after this comes out, and I will also put an end screen on this that will take you to the next video <laughs> after I get that one put up. So with that, you guys, I'll see you all on the next one.